This is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, EC3. And on March 9th, the Overman will rise. Welcome to Thursday Throwdown by Rise Pro Wrestling on YouTube. Tonight, we have the social media icon, Tad Jarvis, taking on Johnny Michael Enrico, GME himself. In women's action, we have Monster Factory versus NXT, Gabby Ortiz taking on Gina Marie. Yeah, The young gun of the great success when Gianni Mike Enrico welcomes you to this week's edition of Thursday Throwdown here on the Rise Wrestling Channel on YouTube. My name is Jim Omada. And as we have progressed in 2024, the great success continues to try to make their mark here in Rise Wrestling. And this could be a very, very pivotal contest to accomplish that goal. Because Enrico will be challenged by one Tad Jarvis. social media icon here on our live media channel looking to make an impression. Once again, my name is Jim Obama. Action from the Uniontown Mall. Gianni, Mike Enrico, and Tad Jarvis. The Italian strongman not exactly endearing himself to this rise crowd. For the record, all of Garden is fake food and I do not endorse them in any way, shape, or form. Being a true paisan, you either make the sauce homemade or you deserve none. It looks like we're ready to get things started here. Collar and elbow tie up between these two young guns in the wrestling business. And that's really one of the strong suits of Rise Pro Wrestling. We bring you the best young talent you're going to find anywhere. These two, a shining example of that. And that's why this one should be a very evenly matched contest. Of course, the leader of the great success, one Alexander Charles, was humiliated with that mustache being sheared off just last month. And we have not heard from Alexander since that time. You have to wonder, is there a lack of leadership? Any dissension within the great success faction 
with their leader being MIA. Deep arm drag from Jarvis, and he's immediately going to work. We know that Tad Jarvis really thrives on the momentum, and that's what we're seeing right here. All motion is one Tad Jarvis. Perched up top here, gonna take a home run swing early. Shoulders down. Finds two and a half, referee Nick Brown in good position right there. Jarvis measuring Gianni Michael Enrico. Maybe going for that trademark Bulldog. Gianni shrugs him off and wisely Gianni breaks the momentum. It may not uh, gain the favor of this audience, but it's very smart for Gianni to take a powder and hold the momentum of Jarvis. And sucking him in right there. Gianni's showing wisdom beyond his years. Was able to lower Jarvis in. And the complexion of this matchup has completely changed as we spill to the outside. Of course, let's not forget, in our feature contest this week, we have Gabby Ortiz out of Philadelphia challenging the hometown girl, Gina Marie. That is a highly anticipated matchup as well. Gianni sending Jarvis back inside the ring ropes. Lateral press finds two. And this is that nasty nature of Gianni Michael Enrico. We know that while he is very technically sound and quite frankly extremely talented for someone with only about two years in the wrestling business, Gianni does have a bona fide mean streak Make no mistake about it. Don't mistake the bravado for uh, any passive behavior. Gianni Mike Rico will hurt an opponent without thinking twice about it because quite frankly, that's the MO of the entire great success faction. Jarvis now trying to fire back with those body shots. But man, Enrico, a real ring general, knew exactly when to cut him off. Hooks up Jarvis, drops him across that steel cable. Very precarious position. Jarvis had no way to protect himself. And I don't want to sell Jarvis short because we know he is so resilient, but he could be on borrowed time here. Go grinning like a Kesher cat in there, very proud of himself. But I'm going to tell you right now, you better not sleep on Tad Jarvis. You hesitate for one second with Tad, you're going to be looking up at the lights. Textbook snap suplex from the Italian strongman floats over. Nice transition, finds two and a half. And once again, wise, wise wrestling from Gianni, Michael, and Rico. Going to ground Tad Jarvis. No way for Jarvis to create any space and thus no momentum, which we know, as we've talked about, is really what Jarvis has made a career of. This Uniontown crowd has seen Tad Jarvis grow by leaps and bounds as an athlete. We know they rallied behind him. Swing and a miss from Gianni. Tad goes for it again and gets caught again. Dropped face first into the buckle. Jarvis had no way to protect himself. Again, I'm gonna say it, Gianni Michael Enrico cannot hesitate with Tad Jarvis. He's gonna let that arrogance get the best of him. Jarvis hits hard off the buckles. Ricocheting on impact. 
and Gianni showing a real level of core strength. Right there, bottom drops out. Gianni went gravity through the work in that exchange. Two and a half, I don't know how you got much closer than that. And if you're watching us here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and join us each and every Thursday. 7 p.m. the premiere, but you can watch it anytime after it debuts on YouTube. Make sure to stay up to date with all of the action here in Rise, not just our current events, but all the big things we have coming up in the future. Jumping into Gurry kick from Jarvis. And now we're gonna see how much Jarvis has left in the, in the tank. Can Jarvis push forward? It's gut check time here. The first man to their feet will certainly have a definitive advantage in the conclusion of this contest. Big knockdown from Tad. And Gianni finds himself on Dream Street. Elevates Gianni into the lights. And Jarvis is ready to go. Cuts the Italian strong man in half. No, we knew this would be evenly matched, but man, this is razor thin. Gianni avoids the contact, and the Italian strong man living up to his name, just inches away from a victory right there. At this point, Gianni has to be asking himself, how far in the playbook does he have to dig to put away Jarvis? Jarvis put on the brakes. Could it be third time's a charm? Yes, it is. Jarvis spikes Gianni. a foot on the rope. You don't get much closer than that. Wait a minute. Now we're having interference here. I'm just seeing it from my vantage point. Gorgeous Gregory was the one to save Gianni here. Jarvis turns his back and gets blindsided. Power Bob plants Tad. And Gianni steals it. Give the assist to gorgeous Gregory, who we'll see in a few weeks here, challenge Chase Mera for the Ascension Championship. but it's strength in numbers for the great success. A hell of an effort from Tad Jarvis, but the numbers game was too much. We'll be back here on Thursday Throwdown. Coming up next, Gabby Ortiz collides with Gina Marie. Stay with us. I clog out from work and need to cut loose It's time to lock the dust off my boots Get out, find a cure from the week's abuse Calling all of my friends It's gonna be a night that's never gonna end Cleaned up
Welcome back here to Rise Pro Wrestling. Uniontown, Pennsylvania at the Uniontown Mall feature contest time. My name is Jim Amata, being joined by Rise matchmaker Chris LaRusso. And Chris, this is a matchup that you had to do a lot of negotiating to bring one Gabby Ortiz well, here wait, to Pittsburgh. Wait, 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 wait a second, she's got something to say. Okay, I know I'm out here, all decked out my Philadelphia Phillies here. Chris, have you seen the Flyers win the cup? I have not. Rocking a Pirates jersey and a, and a terrible towel. Certainly playing to the hometown crowd, but Western Pennsylvania is the hometown crowd of Gina Marie, a true pro wrestling prodigy that we saw make her rise debut just a few months ago. Gina Marie, just over one year in the wrestling business, but has already spent that. time in the NXT developmental system. Quite frankly, Gina Marie is a true natural to the wrestling business, and it's great to see that the next chapter of her career will be a part of the Rise Women's Division. But you know, I mean, you got to give it up to Gabby Ortiz as well. Obviously trained by the Monster Factory. Absolutely the world famous Monster Factory under one Danny Cage. Gabby Ortiz will have a distinct experience advantage in this one. Gabby Ortiz, a seven year pro and also has international experience under her belt. She has toured with the Stardom promotion in Japan. Oh wait, small package. Takes advantage right away. Another schoolboy, a schoolboy roll up there. Man, Oklahoma out. roll. Gina showing her technical prowess Whoa, right, right into a crucifix. Keeping the veteran Gabby Ortiz on her toes here. Irish whip, duck the clothesline. Nice Waste take down. takeover. The front chantry is going to allow Jean Marie to control the posture of Ortiz. Of course, a lot of bravado, a lot of interstate animosity nice here. Nice suplex! As Gina just muscled Ortiz over. Oh! But there's that veteran presence of Ortiz, a real ring general, always knowing where she is inside those ring ropes at all times, and made Gina, Gina Marie pay there. Look at that, keeping, punishing her in the corner. Now Chris, I'm gonna ask you, as we are building the women's division here, what was it about this Philly standout that made you want to bring her to Rise Wrestling? Well, I've, I've been familiar with Gabby's work down at the Monster Factory for several years. I've actually wanted to bring her into Rise for the entire time I've been here. We just haven't been able to get the date and, you know, some contracts. She's certainly here. an in-demand talent, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, she was featured very prominently... Featured very prominently in the Monster Factory television show. Oh, nice on neck Apple breaker. TV, absolutely. He was one of the talents that was featured. And another one! Two neck breakers in a row. Looks that leg here. Gina Marie gets that shoulder up. Well, and Gina Marie's going to take advantage whenever she has the opportunity. Oh, nice and close big line. Knockdown center ring. I have to give it to Gina Marie because. Quite frankly, in the outset here, when someone has experienced as Gabby Ortiz, you would think that Gina Marie would be at a disadvantage here, but she's, she's staying in there step for step with the veteran. Oh, an arrow hole. You know, Gina has, you know, 
come with so much hype. You know, she, she was obviously signed directly to NXT. What does it say about somebody when, you know, they go right to the big dance right away? But she obviously has athletic potential that WWE and then NXT specifically. Yeah, certainly some of the brightest minds in the business when Norman Smiley, Robbie Brookside were under the tutelage from the first time that Gene Marie stepped into a ring. I think that speaks volumes. Man, what's this? What is this? Oh, come on. I'm not sure if this bravado is going to pay off because Gina Marie is well, the too Phillies talented. Do hit dingers. Oh! And a hip attack. Gina Marie got absolutely waffled that time. Unorthodox but effective. And Chris, for our fans that may not realize, the Monster Factory has a stellar reputation. The original Monster Factory produced such talents as the late Bam Bam Bigelow. Well, look at this. Firing up. Iron Cope is smiling somewhere, Chris. Oh, right hand. And Gina Marie is rolling. Nice drop kick, Two beautiful feet drop kick. Firmly sends Gabby down to the canvas, and Gina Marie is cooking. The Italian firecracker. Look at, the, look at the power. She could be closing in on a victory. You know, Gabby Ortiz, she's, I mean, I say this politely. Nice elbow drop right to the kidneys. Let's gravity do the work. Hooks that leg. Oh, only a two count. Very gritty is uh, Gabby Ortiz, no doubt about it. A lot of uh, glam and a lot of grit from the Philadelphia native. She's tough, if not brash. She may have been, it looked like a chin lock, but she might have sunk in that sleeper right there. Oh, to right to forward. the throat. But that is the nasty nature. The nasty nature of Gabby Ortiz takes the shot in the windpipe, follows up here, and Jean Marie just barely escapes. You can tell the offensive assault from Ortiz is wearing down one Gina Marie. Where is she going? Wait a minute, she's going for that ball back. She's trying to hit a real home run. Now, this is going to be a disqualification. I don't know how smart this is. Referee Brian McGowan waking up, gonna assert his authority. Oh, she's got the sleeper hold in! She's tapping out! And Gabby Ortiz, as tough as she is. She knew the lights were going out. Look out! Oh, wait a minute! Don't turn your back on Gabby, that's for sure. Put the boots to her now. A sore loser if there ever was one. Wait a minute, there's Zoe Sky. Not exactly gracious in defeat is one Gabby Ortiz, but Zoe Sky, who we're gonna see on this very YouTube channel, take on Laura Wolfus in a few weeks. Zoe thankfully out here to make sure that Ortiz did not do any permanent damage to one Gina Marie. And Chris, I believe we're out of time this week, but what a hell of a main event here. Gina Marie victorious here on Thursday Throwdown. Wow, what a successful Thursday Throwdown that was. You all saw some amazing action. And maybe, what, what are you looking at here? I want to invite all the wrestling Rise fans, the Rise Wrestling fans got that backwards to our March 9th event. Ooh. There are two ways to get tickets to the March 9th event. Did you know that? I did not. I could do that. One, you can go to risewrestling.com, get your ticket for the March 9th event, or you can be a Rise Grand Champion on our Patreon channel. For $20, you get a ringside ticket. <laughs> monthly to every Rise Wrestling event, plus special content. For more details, go to Rise Wrestling on Patreon. Man, if being a grand champion was that easy, it would have been like a lot. But for all of us at Rise Wrestling, the success of St. Jordan Styles and of course, Megan the Great, we want to thank you all for watching Thursday Throwdown. See you all next time. Bye.